Hello scientific audience, how are you all? So today I'm going to demonstrate an experiment in biology that is to identify the presence of sugar in the food sample and the sugar that I'm going to talk is uh, the sucrose sugar. So this is the procedure and uh, the material required during the, the experiment. This is a very good demonstration for grade 10 students. For this experiment, we require some amount of food solution, which I have taken it in a beaker, cobalt nitrate solution, which is orange in color. We are also going to need a dropper. test tube holder, sodium hydroxide solution. Now this sodium hydroxide solution is kept in a plastic bottle with a nozzle to pull out the solution very easily. Test tubes and test tube stand. So let's begin with the experiment. I have already attached a test tube with a test tube holder. Now I'm going to take about two to three ml of food solution with the help of dropper and pour it into the empty test tube. Now this is the food sample in form of a solution. Now I'm going to press the plastic bottle and I'm going to pour approximately 1 ml of sodium hydroxide solution into the food sample. About 1 ml of cobalt nitrate solution which is orange in color is to be pushed inside the food sample. You can see that when cobalt nitrate solution comes in contact with the food sample, it turns violet in color. I'm going to cover the mouth of a test tube with the help of a paper and going to stir the mixture and the entire solution becomes violet in color. So if cobalt nitrate solution which is orange in color turns violet, it indicates the presence of sugar sucrose in the solution. This is the confirmatory test for the sucrose sugar. There is an another test for the sucrose sugar in which we are going to require Benedict solution. Here we have Benedict solution which is bluish in color. We are going to require NaOH solution, food sample in form of solution some water in a beaker, dilute hydrochloric acid, test tubes and test tube stand. So first of all, I'm going to add about two to three ml of food solution with the help of dropper into the test tube. Now I am going to add about 1 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid into the food solution with the help of the dropper. The 
Due to this addition of dilute hydrochloric acid, the food sample turns acidic in nature. Now I am going to heat the mixture over the Bunsen's burner for about 10 seconds. Now I'm going to put the test tube into the water bath and I'll allow the mixture to cool in the water bath for about 30 to 40 seconds. After about 30 seconds, the mixture is almost cooled. Now I'm going to add about 1 ml of Benedict's solution into the mixture. Now to neutralize the acidity, I am going to add sodium hydroxide solution about 1 ml into the food sample. On gently heating the mixture over the Bunsen's burner, we will find that the blue color of Benedict's solution starts converting into light greenish in color and finally it will turn into brick red in color. So if the Benedict solution which was light blue in color at the end turns into brick red in color, it indicates the presence of sugar into the solution. Hope this video has helped you. Please do not forget to subscribe the channel and share my video. Thanks for watching.